everybody, Peppermint here, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This game is an Otome game, which is a dating game for girls or people who like males. Um, and the name is Rebirthday Song Koi o Utau Shinigami. Um, real quick, this game has not actually been officially released in English, so if you want to play this game for yourself, you have to get it in Japanese and then apply the fan translated English patch. So that is what I have done and I'm so excited to play this because it's beautiful. Look how cute everyone is. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so because this is a fan translation, some parts of it are still like kind of iffy in Japanese, but it, sh it should be good. So we're going to change our name to Pepper and hit enter. Okay, there we go. All right, the prologue. Where am I? I'm wrapped in a very warm light. There is nothing in front of me. I can't touch or hear anything. Who on earth am I? I try to search my own memory, but it's no use. I can't remember anything. I'm alone in this big white world. Where should I go? I have no idea what I should do. I can't think of anything. Who's that? I heard a voice call out somewhere. A voice of a man I don't know. But somehow I could hear warmth in the voice. I had this nostalgic feeling when hearing it. I feel as if I know him. Who is it? I can't remember. I can hear you. I can hear you, so please answer me. I try to say this, but the words won't come out. My own voice is lost. A long time? Since when? What do you mean, this world? Where on earth am I? What I've been looking for... Was I looking for something? I don't know. No matter how hard I think, I can't remember it. I don't know. I never even knew in the first place. People who care about me. What? I can't hear him. What should I look for? Wait, please don't go. Huh? I woke up in an unfamiliar town. A very quiet town in the middle of the night. Gathered light spills from each window. It feels so strange being under such a starlit sky. Where is this? Why am I here? I can't remember at all how I got here. I wonder what's beyond this place. Just as I try to take my first step. A large shadow flies over to me. As the wind blows through me, I unconsciously close my eyes. Whatever it was, it landed right in front of me when speaking. Who is it? When I carefully opened my eyes, a giant owl appeared in front of me. Oh... Okay, it's kind of scary, but cute at the same time. Somehow I knew immediately that this was no ordinary owl. Somehow, um, 
I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> For one thing, any normal owl wouldn't be wearing clothes, exactly. And I don't remember ever seeing an owl with a monocle, not to mention a graduation cap. Speaking of which, this owl talked to me, didn't it? I guess I should introduce myself. Um, as I begin to speak, I stop myself. Wait a minute. Who am I exactly? And what was I doing until now? I was certainly surprised an owl started talking to me, but I'm even more surprised I can't remember anything about myself. This can't be. Why can't I remember anything? Where did I come from? And for what purpose was I brought here? Who the heck am I? As if he wasn't expecting a reply from me, the owl gives a jolly laugh. ま、ま、なくてもよろしい。君のように過去の記憶をなくした子がこの世界に来てしまうのはまあまああることです。不安があることはありません。迷える魂を迎え入れる場所。ここはそういう世界なのだから。Lost student at his school. 大丈夫。何も心配しなくていいよ。さあ、一緒に行こう! While saying so, the owl expands one wing. Then, out of nowhere, the sound of hooves approached. A horse! Suddenly a carriage appeared right in front of me. It was just like the one in fairy tales I've often seen. Surprisingly enough, it didn't have a coachman in it, which must mean the horse carried the carriage on its own. The horse nods as if it understands the words of the owl, then prompts me to ride with a raise of its neck. Is this horse like the owl? But it looks like a normal horse to me. It's not wearing clothes, apparently. <laughs> it is strange that the horse is riding of its own free will. Even so, a talking owl is even more unusual. <laughs> Once I boarded the carriage, the owl casually took a seat next to me. Judging from his tone of voice, I wonder if he's elderly? <laughs> he sounds like a grandpa. I wonder who he is, and where is he taking me exactly? There were a lot of things I wanted to ask, but I can't manage to say anything. It's as if I've forgotten how to speak my own thoughts. <laughs> the owl gives me a gentle look while smiling at me. I'm not sure why, but having him smile made me feel at ease. Soon the scene from the carriage changed from the town into the forest. We continued endlessly into the dim forest, until finally we reached a place where it came to an end. That's... Beyond the very depths of the forest, I caught a glimpse of a, of a magnificent castle. It seems like the carriage is heading there. It's a full moon today. Just before I'm caught in a daze by this fascinating sight. The owl asked me this question. The present world? While noticing my confusion, the owl just chuckles with a smile. I'm totally dead. I'm like in the afterlife. Where everyone's a talking animal. Wow, it really is larger up close. As I got off the carriage, it appeared in full view. Even while looking up, I couldn't see the very top. I find myself having to catch my breath with utter amazement. Sa. When the owl taps my foot to lead me, I follow after him towards the castle. What exactly is this place? As a slight nervousness swept over me, I stepped foot in the castle. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary old castle, but the interior looked absolutely stunning. So many owls. <laughs> if someone told me this castle belonged to a prince or princess, I'd believe them. 
着いたよここだ This place? After walking down a long hallway and up some stairs, we arrived here before long. There was a door labeled staff room that looked more well built than the other doors. さあ、中にお入り。So, this is the staff room. It's full of bookshelves. Arki, it's got it in a guy. Take to a nice new cosh cocket to could I say. While prompted to do so, I sit down in a nearby chair. The owl does the same and flies over to a seat where a label with principal was put. As if it's his own seat. Sate Nani Kara Hanase by Ekana. As the owl rearranged his monocle with the tip of his wing, he looked back at me and smiled. ししまま How does an owl smile? <laughs> この世界の名前はネザーワールド。天国と地獄に最も近く、そして最も遠い場所に存在する世界です。ネザーワールド。I incline my head to this mysterious word thrown at me. 本来人の魂というのは一生終えた後天国もしくは地獄のどちらかへたどり着くものですですがそれには例外もあるその例外というのは魂が強い未練を持っている場合のことです現世に強い未練を残している魂は天国へも地獄へも行くことができず死後の世界をさまようことになるこのネザーワールドとはそんな迷える魂たちが集う場所なんです。This castle is a school for Shinigami. A Shinigami is a person who hunts a person's soul, right? So to become a Shinigami, I have to attend a school? So I am a school. <laughs> All I can do is nod. The Netherworld, a Shinigami school, the owl as the principal. Words are thrown at me at every corner, and I can't keep up. But after seeing this owl right in front of me with these strange clothes, I suppose it should come to no surprise at this point. Wait a minute. So, what he told me earlier about where the people that had already died gather. So, me being here must mean you did. He spins out the words as if he read my own mind. So, Kimi mo. Gense de nanaka no katachi de inochi o shinai. So, ste miren o harasezu ni jobutsu dekina katta. Moto ningen no tamashi nan desu. I knew it. I'm the existence of what has already died. No longer was I puzzled in hearing his words. So, she said, Oh, she's a little bit of 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 a l i For a moment, I stared back with a stunned look on my face until I realized what he just said. Me? A Shinigami? What does he mean when he says I have the aptitude? I can't pinpoint the exact words he's trying to get across. But I don't think this kind owl would lie or joke about any of this. He stares at me patiently as I hesitate with my answer. I can't remember anything. I know nothing about myself, and I don't even fully understand the current world I'm in. There's only one path for me to choose the thing only my hollow self can do. I'll believe what this principle in front of me is saying. 
After my long hesitation, I gave a small nod. <laughs> the owl cried joyfully, and out of nowhere appeared documents in a feather pen. On the document, the words entrance formalities was written. My name? His face looks so messed up because of the monocle, like, over his eye. <laughs> he looks like he has, like, a weird eyelid. Let's <laughs> Pepper? God, no! My name is Pepper! My very own name. With a pure white existence and without knowing a single thing about myself, the owl gave me a marking for my name. I'm very happy about that. I'm still finding everything the owl said hard to believe. I have no idea what awaits me in the future. Even so, this kind owl said he'd give me a place to stay while asking nothing in return. There's no reason to not listen to what he has to say. My name, Pepper. When writing my name down, I felt like I stepped foot into a very fictional world. This is the place I'll be staying from here on out. I nod with a smile in return. It was then I felt a surge of drowsiness overcome me. My eyes felt heavy and I could no longer keep them open. I want to date the owl. <laughs> He's nice. <laughs> I slowly fell asleep while hearing the principal speak in the back of my head. Alright, episode one. Uh, I could kind of read that, but not really. <laughs> okay, it's the 5th of May, one day after my birthday. One month has passed since I entered the Shinigami Academy. When I first came to this world, my lost memory and existence was all so vague to me. But the name Pepper was given to me by the principal of the school. Thanks to the owl principal, I'll be able to live a new life as Pepper in the netherworld. yelled at for sleeping in class today. I wonder why it's so difficult for me, even when the principal told me the proper ways to become a Shinigami. I couldn't be reincarnated, so my unfortunate human self went to the netherworld just because I had regrets. Why do I have to have such miserable regrets? This sucks. But when I live such a daily routine life, I start to forget that I'm actually dead. The flow of time in the netherworld is the same as it is in the present one. 365 days a year and 24 hours a day. Well, that's convenient. Everyone living in this world has the same type of food, clothing, and housing. I mean, since we're consciously not aware we're dead, it should make it easy for anyone to become a Shinigami, right? Nah, I really doubt it. I mean, the classes are just way too hard from morning till evening. So what do we even learn, like, how to wield a scythe, or... <laughs> it's a strict learning year with no holidays since everyone stays in dorms. As for the classes, defense training and demon beast breeding are the only ones I have trouble on. And with history, it's so boring I'm already asleep before it starts. It seems like everyone except me can do it all just fine. I know it won't help being all depressed about it. The exam for the pair matchup is already tomorrow. She 
Shinigami. Their role is to hunt a human soul that has reached the end of its lifespan and send it to the next world. To become qualified as a Shinigami, you must attend the Shinigami Academy. Because a Shinigami's job can involve various risks, it's imperative that they work in pairs. I were already dead. And since Shinigami start off new to the job, they need to pair up in order to work as a team and learn from each other. In regards to the pair matchup exam tomorrow, up until this point, the results have been based on your performance, attitude, and character, but my test scores are almost always low. I'm always falling asleep in class, and my energetic personality seems to be the only thing I have going for me. There's no good aspects about me at all, and the more I think about it, the more depressed I feel. Yeah, I suck. <laughs> Apparently the seniority of the Shinigami is taken into account when deciding who to pair up with who. Everyone in class is super smart too. I wonder how the results of tomorrow's exam will turn out. <sighs> Ugh, I need to stop all this pessimism and think happier thoughts. Alright, I'll sing a song that'll cheer me up. Oh, please no. Singing always seems to easily lift my spirit. I feel much better. Singing really does help. My whole body and mind feels much better, but everyone around me thinks I'm insane. Oh, oh, my oh it's a uh, a boy. First boy we've seen, other than Mr. Owl. Oh, Zin! Rika-san! So you're here too! These two guys are already two elite Shinigami named Zen and Rika-san. Zen has a liking to hanging around other students, so before I knew it, I became closer to the two. What's going on? Did you come to hang around school today? Even though he always has the time to, これから現世に仕事ですよ。その前に少し校長に用事があったので立ち寄っただけです。ああ、そうだったわい。なあ、おい。ん？What Whenever I say Rika-san, it feels better to say it that way. And when saying Zen, I feel the same way about it. This guy takes life way too seriously, apparently. Ah, don't press my head like that, Zen.後輩を Nandato! Yeah, calling them when I call them makes a lot of sense to me now. In fact, when I see these two crawl like this, it makes me forget they're a higher ranking Shinigami. That guy's eyes, like, really crazy looking. It's weird. Well, I'm not doing anything in particular. Okata! Mata Jiyo Chuni Nemri Bukkoita no Okorate Hekonde Totoka! Son Natogodaro? Ah, he's sharp. I'm Marishit Pai Bakari Stirto. Darekaramu Piani Eran de Moraina Yochkoburni Nachimazo. What? It's possible to not get paired with someone? Eh, Arimasio. Subete no say to me, Sino Aruaka de Arimas in Karane. If you don't get paired with someone, you get murdered by the owl. I'm, I'm 
sure. 学校の廊下を進んだ奥の奥にどんな悲鳴も届かない暗い教室があるんだ元は学校関係者に歯向かったものの監獄として使われていた部屋らしいけどな落ちこぼれたちは全員その部屋に押し込められて虐待まがいの授業を受けさせられるんだ恐ろしいだろう I don't believe you at all. A awful, cruel like lessons. Eh, apparently I'm like super gull gullible. I can't even handle my own classes, and there's something even worse. No way, there's absolutely no way I can handle that. Ha ha! 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 Ha Is what he said true? Ma, Uasa Banashi no Tabu de Shone. What a shua Ochkobore new Enga Nakata de Kuashi Kotua Shirimasa. Desna Kudarana Uasa ni Odora Sarena Igraini, O my Mogambarina say. Ochkomono, Sorekarno has the seal. Right. Mdayo, Sketa Hengidana. もっと腹から声出せ腹から Yes sir よしその息だじゃあリッカ俺らもそろそろ仕事に行くとするかえではまた Sure see you later A Shinigami really is cool It seems fun Becoming a Shinigami, not only do you have permission to go in and out of the present world, but you also have a lot of privileges in the nether world. The administration and political aspects of the nether world is all learned about in class. Well, since that sort of thing isn't fit for myself, there's no point talking about it. Even so, a Shinigami really is amazing. In addition, they get to swing around these huge sites, which really scream Shinigami when you have one. How can you not long for it? Alright, I need to work harder. The exams are still tomorrow, so I need to study until the very last minute. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So let's save. And I hope you guys enjoyed and are as excited for this game as I am. And if you are, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day!